a bell pepper. This plant is three years old. I started at the same time I started my uh, habanero. This plant, I, I'm fighting myself to not put it down. Um, this this plant, I didn't buy seeds for it. I'm just showing you this as uh, educational purposes that you can uh, winter over peppers for many, many, many years. Um, it, 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 this was, I buy commercial grade peppers from a restaurant supply and uh, I buy them by the case. And so I'm left, I'm usually left with, you know, the, the center part, the placentas with the seeds. I'm usually left with, you know, I don't know, a hundred of those things, sometimes 200 of them. And I, I have to do something with them. So a lot of times I just toss them into the uh, recycling bin and I didn't do that one year. I decided to collect the seeds, dried them out, collected them, filled up the bag, collected them. Now I have this giant bag of seeds. They're about five or six years old. I can still take a handful of them out, sprinkle them on the ground, and I will get a few that'll come up. So um, they do sprout. You don't want to use those seeds because they're hybrid, hybridized for commercial growers for certain specific uh, purposes and conditions. This is the result of a hybridized seed, okay? If it's not grown in perfect perfect conditions, get off me, Mr. Ant. That's how, that's how the aphids are getting on my plants. <laughs> You can see there's another one that's got some uh, blossom end rot on it. Most of them don't have it, uh, but uh, they will. A number of peppers will end up with blossom end rot on this, no matter what you do to it. If this, in this particular case, if this plant, I I didn't water for like two days or three days, and this plant just if it doesn't get its water and it starts to dry a little bit, or it's not dry, it doesn't dry out, but it, it just it's not soaked like and the conditions just ain't right perfect for this plant and it's not consistent you miss one day of water this thing will, all these peppers will get blossom in right on them so that's this particular variety of pepper uh, again it's a commercial uh, bell pepper that I got from the store I decided to regrow it and it's really hard for me to want to just put the plant down and just kill it and I really want to see how many years I'm going to get out of this thing and what it'll do after several years of growing a plant that you get from, a, you know, a seed you get from a, a pepper you get from a store. What will it do? Can it be done? Can it be grown for several, eight, nine, ten years? Is it possible? What, what will it look like in, in eight years? You know, so we're going to find that out as we take this journey of, uh, you know, what, you know, what will result in uh, growing a commercial grade pepper or a store-bought pepper seed and, and seeing what it turns into. Here's the peppers. I noticed that the peppers tend to be smaller as the years go by. They get smaller and smaller. They change their shape. Some of them, some most of them keep their shape. Okay, that could be genetics uh, separating out of it as it ages. Here's a, here's, a very, here's a bell pepper that's very strange looking. Looks almost like a habanero. It didn't cross. I don't believe it crossed. Um, we'll find out when we eat it because if it cross, I'll taste it. Here's some deformed peppers, you know, little freaky, just freak stuff. It's not coming out like a bell. They're starting to change. This one's a beautiful bell. Some of them are freak though. I think it's possible some of these are naturally hybridizing with the uh, habanero. Uh, it still produces a lot of peppers, just the peppers are much smaller than normal. I guess if I cut this plant back now and let it start to regrow again, I might get more bells out of it. Not looking to do that. This is more of a science experiment for me for just to see, you know, what we can do with uh, these plants. How long they'll grow. What can we do with them? What's the results? Um, you can see the stem on this thing. Okay, it's a very thick stem. It's all woody, just like a tree. I could probably make furniture out of this plant now. Okay, so that's not no longer a vegetable stem that you could just like snap with your hands. This is something you would, you're getting close to getting loppers in order to remove it from there. Okay, it's not a little plant anymore. It's a tree or a shrub or a bush. Here's another one. I'll show you. I'll give them, put this, put these all in one video. This one's doing much better. Uh, boy, it's tight back here. This one's doing much better. You're going to see leaf drop. You're gonna see leaf drop on it. 
you're going to see a lot of flowers. You can see there's flowers. I knock them. I clean them up at the end of the every couple of days. Uh, let's show you the stem on this one. There's another three year older. I, I have a couple of them are only two years old, but these were uh, three years old. I I grew seeds again a year after I did these just to see if they'll sprout again or for something, and they sprouted. So. Uh, they were, and they were already a few years old, those seeds, so they two years old, two-year-old seeds, uh, or something like that when I sprouted those. So, yeah, they still came up. Uh, yeah, very thick stem. Not as thick as the others for some reason. Uh, this is much more bushier. Uh, you can see there's a lot of peppers. They're very small. They're not, they're not huge bell peppers. The peppers, like I told you, they, they tend to get smaller as the plant ages. Is a look underneath this thing. I mean, this thing's literally like a giant bush. Okay, there's peppers underneath. I, I if I go around and pick all these peppers off, some of the ones that are under will probably really start getting big. You know, it's just I don't need them right now. Oh, I broke something off. Gotta, gotta get them dead leaves out of here. Here's here's another bell. It's another bell pepper. All right, here's another bell that I got in a self-watering container. You can see the stem on this thing. That thing's got to be about an inch in diameter. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see this. Yeah. A woody stem. Uh, commercial grade pepper. I mean, there's leaves and peppers all over these things, you guys. They're not real big. These will start to turn red at that size. They don't get much bigger than this. Uh, they stay smaller. They stay smaller. Once the plant gets older, it, the fruit size shrinks. Unless you do some serious creative pruning and pick all these peppers back. Uh, maybe it'll throw out new shoots and off the new shoots you might get larger peppers. But I didn't do that. I just cut them back for the winter and let them sprout. And then I never really needed to do anything else. You know, you can see where I topped them off. Here's another one. This is a three-year-old pepper. This one's a grand. This one is a grand poobah of a pepper. Look at the size of the stem on this plant. This is just absolutely incredible. I've never seen pepper plants with stems that get this thick. I didn't know they can get this thick. Look at this. Look at that knot. Look at that thing. I'm sure you the size of that knot. Look, compare that to my thumb. I mean, this thing is gigantic, guys. Look at that. You see that at the top? That was a pepper from when, it, when I picked them. And so that's the dead node area of a pepper, because they dropped the peppers out of there. Uh, it's just absolutely enormous. This thing is just like a hedge that you would see in front of somebody's house. That's the bottom canopy of it. See if I can give you a good view of it. All right. Now that, that one there is another habanero. I'll just show you that in this video, too. You can see that's the big one. These are all three-year-old plants up here. Oh, it's kind of tough moving around. Yeah, that's a habanero. Oh, I've got one more three-year-older over there uh, that I can show you. Here's something very interesting I want to show everybody here. This is something, now these plants are three years old. They've been producing green bells that turn red. And uh, a couple of my plants are doing something really, really bizarre. And I'm not quite sure what is going on here. So just give me a second while I spin this thing here for you. If I could, if it'll let me, because these things, this thing is, they're all growing in together here. One big happy family. Okay, here's something really interesting. If I could just get up. Oh, boy. I'm getting a lot of, uh, a couple of these, a couple of these plants put out brown peppers. Okay. They're not regular bell color. Normally they go from green, they turn or they turn red, they turn, start turning a little orange, and then they turn red. That's the way it's always been. These turn brown. This is the only brown pepper on this plant. Uh, actually, there's, there's there's one more. Here's another brown one. It's actually going from brown to red, but these turn brown for some reason. Okay, I have no idea. Oh, I did I break it off? I broke it off. Look at this. All right, I can get it. I get my ass out of here. Give you a really good sun view. That's it. It turned brown. 
Look at that. I have, these peppers don't do that. I'll show you what these peppers look like when they start to ripen. They don't turn brown. They go from green to like orange, yellow to red. That's it. <laughs> uh, I got another one here. I'll show you another plant. I feel like eating that thing right now. Okay. Here's another uh, three-year-old pepper. Let's see if I can show you that base. That stem at the base. Gotta show you the base. Can you see that? It's a nice thick stem on it. I mean, this thing's a, basically a bush. It's a bush, guys. And uh, it's loaded with peppers. Dude. Loaded with peppers about that size on my hand. Uh, they're not real big bells, but they're perfect for a salad. I mean, I don't need a giant bell. To put, I like these little ones per, work perfect for me in a salad. Uh, uh, they're, they're, they're just right. <laughs> actually <laughs> it worked out towards my favor but they seem like they get a little smaller every year so i don't know what to expect uh in coming time all right uh here's another one with some blossom and rot can't let these plants dry out for one day you got to make sure they're watered daily okay so anyway here's another one here's a chocolate bell Here's a chocolate bell. I hope you can actually get some of this color on here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pick this one. I want this one to ripen, and I want to get the seeds from that and actually grow it and see if I start getting chocolate bells out of it. It could. It could have naturally hybridized, but I think what's happening is the plant is. Um, it, 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 because these are already hybrid, hybrid, hybrid plants. They have to be commercial grade seeds, so they have to hybridize them. So whatever they hybridize them with, the genetics are starting to come out. Uh, something is causing the genetics to separate here and there in some of the plants. So I've noticed that with this plant. This isn't. This isn't a. Uh... Oh wow, that was sna that's living off of skin, huh? That's all. It, it snapped right there. I didn't know that. It's just living on there like a skin. It's alive. I could probably take that stem and root that and clone it and show you how you do it. I mean, it, to me, that's a waste of time because of the, it's just a regular store-bought bell pepper. I mean, but just for the sake of science, I mean, I can show you how you do it and get that thing to root, grow, and continue to produce. Clone these plants for the rest of your life if you don't have the seeds or the seeds are unproductive. I could show you how you... I just have this particular plant, mother plant, uh, for the rest of your life, um, with or without seeds. So anyway, uh, yeah, let me just get this in the sunlight. What the hell? See, all these plants are grew together. They're all, they're all tied in together, man. I can't pull that out. But yeah, that's it right there. It's a brown bell that came out of this thing. The brown bell. I don't even know if there is any brown bell. Is there brown bell? Bell pepper seeds? I know there's black, but I don't know about brown. I have no idea. We have to test that to see what's going on with it. And then uh, maybe I'll do a taste test on this in another video to find out if this thing is hot or what or what it tastes like. I don't know. But a, it's, it's hybridized with a brown bell on it, man. All right, so we'll see what... We'll see what comes out of that thing. It just went from green to brown, and it's staying that brown right now. It just looks like it might be getting some orange overtones, but... Yeah, that's, uh... Those are my three-year-old plants. Uh, they're quite old. And, uh, they'll probably be around for a while longer. Until I get tired of them, or they stop producing or something, then maybe I'll take them down. I'll even do a video of their... Of me euthanizing these plants, but hopefully we don't get to that point. One bad thing about pots and these type of tables, they don't slide. But uh, anything else here? Three-year plants. This is going to be a part one and two to this, obviously. This is a very long, maybe even a part three. Uh, it's going to be a long video for the three-year uh, bells and habaneros. So that's it. That's a good look at what I got going. So like, share, and subscribe.